Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have a finished cut match against their old friends, FC Jazz. They're still around. They're still there. They still exist. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this entire group again, I think. Reason being is this. Um, everyone's pretty much pretty much okay i mean yeah you know, i think i'll probably just sub grand home and sub whatever else i can think of i'm probably oyala at some point for hanan and i think because that worked out pretty well um so that's pretty much all i've got i mean you can see all the players that are out injured or on international leave or suspended for this match um so uh yeah um yanni backman is restored to the side he served his suspension for yellow card all the good shit so he's going to start up there alongside ramali so really it's like for like with suicy and bachman out there um so i don't think we'll lose too much i think um as long as we play up to our standard we should be fine i should have saved and talked about all that shit before before now but oh well whatever um, uh, Robbie should be back soon, um, so he'll be restored to the side, at least to a bench position, um, here, probably not the next match, but probably the match after that, maybe, maybe three more matches from now, maybe, we'll see, we will see, um, other than that, I think that's the only update I have for you, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this shit and get going. Um, I did decide, obviously, to record another episode here tonight, so I'm kind of fresh. I know what the fuck is going on with this club. It doesn't take me long to get back into the swing of things, usually. You're just like, where the fuck am I? Who should be starting? And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go with passionate. I'm going to go with passionate, because I'm a passionate person. And guess what? We have sound today. I did click that little fucking box. Literally, I just went down to the little, the little tray down here and turned it off because I was, like I said, listening to something. So, anyway, so that's that. Um, we are now balls deep into this season. Um, really, we're we're clicking right along here. Um, uh, as far as reinforcements are concerned. Uh, I'm just going to pick up whatever the fuck I can get. As you know already, I have a goalkeeper on his way in um, who looks to be pretty good. Um, that's about it. Um, however, though, I think he's good enough to... Oh, fucking Christ. I hate one. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that shit? hate that. Like, I'd rather him just stand there and, like... like let's just say he tried to play it and it bounced over his foot or some dumb shit or he just missed it i'd much rather that than them run like a fucking tard away from the ball i hate that shit there's nothing i hate more than them running away from the ball i fucking hate that shit hate that shit that's why i stopped playing the fifa games oh fuck me no one would ever close down on that game shit I hated that shit. I had to be all 11 players at once. I had to be in the box, closing people down. That's up to two. Like, okay. In midfield, I'm, I'm okay kind of maintaining a positional structure in midfield. But, like, in the box, like, a cross would come in, and they'd back away from it. They'd back away from where the cross is coming into. So the players would just get free headers all the fucking time. Because they wanted you, the player, to control said person and react accordingly. I'm like, fuck that. Fuck that shit. Mm -mm. But anyhow, like I said, that's why I stopped playing that shit. Fuck those games. Those games irritated the hell out of me. Even the little app game isn't all that great. I tried it. The little ultimate team thing. It's okay. Not quite what I was hoping for. But um, considering you just go get player cards and you just put the best players on your team out there and then you score goals. And I don't know if... I don't think there's a way to make the match longer. The match is way too short. It's my honest opinion. I mean, sure, it's great if you want to play just a real quick five-minute game, but sometimes you want a little bit more than that. Sometimes you're jonesing for a little bit more football than that. 
and it just doesn't give it to you. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear God. That was like all 11. Oh, okay, not really 11. There were nine red players over there. Nine. Nine red fuckers over there. It took all nine of them to clear that fucking thing, too. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I don't expect to lose this match. It all depends on how uh, motivated we are. No one is out there looking uninterested as of right now. They all seem composed and normal. So that makes me feel, oh shit, fuck, I need to do that. <laughs> that just reminded me. I see a player get get uh, get fouled. I'm like, oh fuck, gotta take that off. But anyhow, um, the assistant coach did recommend attacking, working on attacking movement for this match. However, I went ahead and just stuck with defensive positioning because I kind of feel like we were we were uh, in need of that honestly and the feeling we were working on attacking movement for some time and we needed to work on um, this which by the way holy shit does FC Jazz have a huge stadium good god they got a lot of seats in this motherfucker of course no one's sitting here watching them because one thing suck but still I mean, our, mo our motivation seems pretty good. We seem to be moving around quite a bit. I like that. It's really what you just want, honestly. When, you, when you're playing this game, I mean, you really just want them to move around. And as long as they're not static. If they're static, it's going to be a long fucking day. But when they're not static, it's great. It's awesome. It's wonderful. Because, you know, then you know that they're at least chasing shit down or moving around, causing some problems. You know, but anyway that is that Jesus we are a quarter of the way through this game already good god just flying through this shit hey, look at that that is one thing that happens a lot in FM15 man they go up for headers like that and just completely fucking whiff on them like that oh shit nice about time Ramasaho scored there he's been he put in some good work in the last match it's good to see him convert on one. That was a tough one to convert on, too. That required a bit of skill and luck. Just two, three more of those, and we're okay, guys. Please. Maybe. Perhaps. Please. Anyhow, alright, so. I would really. Ooh, oh boy. That was scary. That was scary. That was great. And that right there is where the communication stat will come in, or attribute, ability, whatever. That's where communication comes in. Goalkeepers communicating with their fucking dudes, which, by the way, we will likely have um, when we do bring in the new goalkeeper. It won't be all roses as soon as he comes in. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, I've, had, I've done this a few times. I've, oh, Jesus. I thought he was going to score another one. Um, I have had uh, to transition brand new keepers into the first squad a few times, and it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit of, um, usually especially when they're young, which ours is going to be 18 when he comes in. Um, things are a little uh, shaky, not quite sure where they should be, but usually it settles down pretty quick. I mean, it all it always helps if you have a really good defense out in front of them, you know, to, to lessen the amount of goals that are scored, but like I said, it it's not um ooh. oh fuck me <sighs> Jesus just what we don't need seriously we just don't need this especially in games like this we just don't need injuries of all the fucking things no injuries please please it's just not what we want Hananen gets to come in a bit earlier than I figured he would, so. Yeah. Oh my. Well done. Rifle that fucker into the corner. Good distance, though, for that, though. In all honesty, it's about, it about, about the right distance for a halfway decent goal kick, but anyhow. We are up two goals to the good. Now, here's to hoping. I hope. Yeah, I'll do it with two, I think. 
give them the nice positive um, give them the nice positive team talk at halftime. That's what I'll do. Oh Jesus, Granholm trying to get in on the act, trying desperately. But anyhow, so we're about here on halftime. Um. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance so far. I mean, this is this is what you need when you play lesser sides like this, which I would call FC Jazz a lesser side at this point, considering we're in a league above them and likely have much better players. As long as we don't do anything stupid. There you are. Halfway decent defending. And clear it. I do like this, by the way. I do like the the apparel thing. I like how he's got he doesn't have a long sleeve jersey on it, but he's got the fucking thermal on underneath it. I like that. I think that's I think that's neat that they have. Oh, what a save! What a fucking save! Who was that? Romali or Hoglum? That was that was a save. The goalkeeper went to ground like a fucking idiot. Like I said. I'm not putting my money on Monsalve, and I will be very happy to have a better goalkeeper here soon. Actually, I think it's next season, after next season, I think. I don't think it's after this season. But, I'll have to go check that, honestly. I really do need to check that. Some of those things I just need to take a look at. Because I always forget, once again, it's one of those things that I just don't commit to memory. So, here we go. We are two goals to the good. I'm just going to continue with pretty happy. I uh, didn't quite hit home as much as I hoped it would. But, I mean, uh, quite honestly, like with a two goal lead, with the better goalkeeper that's coming in, I would be much, um, I would be much, uh, just, I'd be much more at ease. I think that's part of where, oh boy, I don't know how he threaded that fucker in there. Zone on the end, end of that, but. I'd be much happier with better a better keeper, someone who's just more, more, just more confident, just better. I mean, just more consistent, more all the other words that begin with C that are good. Oh my, Harala, I thought Harala had that. Jesus. And these are the sort of performances that will become more and more, um, ooh, that will become more and more, um, common as we get um as we get deeper into uh to this lp um speaking of that i do plan on getting fm16 like fuck maybe around christmas because it comes out like october november usually i think i want to say october i think that usually comes out right around then i i do plan on getting it around then um Although I may not start ALP around until like Christmas or something, um, maybe I'll wait to see if there's a sale or something like that. Because usually they have that big patch that comes out uh, after the January transfer window, um, which updates on everything. So I usually wait around then, wait around spring, wait, wait around February or so to get that to get FM. And my honest opinion, that's the best time to get it because usually they've not usually. Lately, they've been. They haven't been like the match. The matches is the um. The game has been kind of uh, especially fifteen was really broken when it first came out, and uh, it took a couple of patches for them to actually make the game. Not stupid. So um. There's that. So I like I said I might wait till then till they. Oh my god maybe one too many passes there good stuff but not enough forward passes either they're a little too side to side there towards the end but not too um not too much to worry about so we're at the 64 minute mark now What's, oh my lord fuck you deserve to go for that shit I should say, go for that assist. God damn, that was a nice little, nice little pass he dropped off there. Um, uh, 
I'm gonna continue with things the way they are. And we get a penalty kick, nice. Wonderful. I'm getting these all over the fucking place with my Atlantic team right now. Holy fuck. Am I getting penalty kicks like every other game? It's fucking stupid how often they are. I'm like, shit. Just all over the place. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just like ridiculous. I never get them with my, uh, with my Galway United squad, like ever. Like, ever. I and mean, I mean ever. Like, I never get them. I mean, it's it's one of those things that just very, 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 very rarely happens for me. I mean, and just my Icelandic club is just fucking racking them up left, and right, and center. It's just, I mean, like I said, I'm not complaining. It's fucking fun, but although, quite honestly, that team has been kind of a work in progress. It's, and we may see it, I don't know, it, probably not. We probably won't. I mean, we're not going to. We're not going to see, uh, probably won't have a whole lot of, like, a huge influx of players. Basically what happened to, like, Liverpool or Tottenham Hotspur a couple years ago, um, when, you know, you have, like, ten players come in, and half of them are first-team players, and your entire team, you know, that was some bad defending there, and your entire team has, has, um, you know, has time, uh, has time, has a tough time blending together. That's what's happened in my Icelandic club right now because I convinced them to go pro, bought a ton of players. They gave me a decent pot of cash, and I just bought a bunch of players and, you know, threw them all together. And, you know, now it's one of those things where, you know, now they're starting to kind of start starting starting to click. But, I mean, it, it takes some time. It really does. But we probably won't have that happen unless there's, like, a large influx of cash at any point. Even then, um, you're probably going to see players trickle in like you've seen so far. I mean, one here, one there. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't suspect that we'll have that kind of trouble. But a 3 no win and progressing in this tournament. Looks on the cards here. Oh, a, oh Jesus, what is going on? Anyhow. So, like I said, I think... I don't think we'll have to deal with that. I think we'll continue to see players trickle in here and there. So that's that's that. That is that. A 3-0 no win, and not not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, it was against FC Jazz, and, you know, there probably is a pretty decent golfing talent there. Um. So, yeah. Oh shit, we need to check cuz I think this is something I think we'll I think we'll do um uh pretty pretty frequently. Please reach out. Oh, none of ours. Okay. I think we'll do this um from here on out. Whenever there's an injury or something like that, I think we'll kind of um um kind of update on the spot. All right, good. No injuries. We're getting lucky with these. We're getting very, very lucky. So anyway, all right. So that does it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.